There are systems where we may be interested in the motion of only one particular output and not be interested in some of the others. An example is this system. This is uh, two masses with a damper in between. And we're applying a force to one. And let's say that there are two motions, uh, x1 and x2, that are come on, coming out of the system. Uh, if we derive our equations, we end up with two differential equations, including x1 and x2. But what if we actually were interested only in uh, getting x2 as an output? Here we've rearranged these uh, equations in input-output form. We have one equation that has x1 double dot uh, and f, and then we have uh, the other equation including x2 double dot. But what if we weren't interested in x1 at all? Well, we have two equations and our two variables that are unknown are x1 and x2. So two equations with two unknowns mean we should be able to get rid of uh, x1 and only solve for x2. So the question is, how can we get rid of x1 and find a single differential equation uh, to replace these two equations? So what we desire to do is to take all the x1s and get rid of them. Here's how we can do that. So let's rewrite our equations, our two equations, uh, where, uh, just to keep things a little bit simpler, I'm defining v1 equal to x1 dot so that uh, I have fewer dots to worry about. So we have two equations and two unknowns and we want to get rid of v1. Well, the second equation is helpful because we can already uh, move v1 over to the right and so we get m v2 dot plus b v2 is equal to b v1. Solve for v1 and we get uh, m over b v2 dot plus v2. So we have one equation where we immediately can uh, solve for v1. Uh, we also want v1 dot. v1 dot is just the derivative of that. Now let's take both of these. We can substitute both of these equations into our first equation. So remember that what we the way we got here was we rearranged the second equation and now we have uh, expressions for v1 and v1 dot. We can plug these into the first equation which I'll do over to the left here. So m times v1 dot which is the quantity you see uh, over here plus b times v1, which is the above quantity, minus bv2 is equal to f. Now let's try to collect some terms. m squared over b, v2 double dot, plus m v2 dot, plus there's another m v2 dot, plus v v2 minus b v2 is equal to f. Uh, these two terms here are going to uh, cancel each other and we can combine the v2 dots so we end up with an equation m squared over b v2 double dot plus 2m v2 dot is equal to f. So now we have an equation which allows us to relate the output v2 to the input f and notice we've eliminated uh, v1 or also x1. Uh, if you want to put this back in the form of um, x instead of v, uh, we can just rewrite this equation as m squared over b. Remember v is just x dot, so v double dot is just going to be x triple dot. So this means that we have an equation uh, m squared over b times x triple dot 2 plus 2m x 2 double dot is equal to f. So that's just returning to the original variables that we were using.